Good morning, Lionel. Oh, uh, morning. Where are you off to? I'm joining my new ship. It's a frigate, actually. Oh, nice. By the way, does the ship know that you're coming? Oh, sure. I've radioed in, been given permission to land, so it's a life on the ocean waves from now on. <laughs> Where she blows! <laughs> Quite the landing you might have hoped for, Lionel. But still, you made it. What hit me? What hit me? <laughs> Looked like a mortar bomb to me. Very spectacular. It made a hell of a bang. I know it made a hell of a bang. I was there. But what went wrong? I'd radioed in and received permission to land. The ship should have been a flying station. It's infuriating, isn't it? But that's what happens when the aircraft and ship fail to work together. Well, they'd better not try it again, that's all. Oh, the chances of it happening again. <laughs> are about as small as you being squashed by a runaway aircraft. Very funny. Very funny. In fact, recently, that almost happened for real. It was a pretty routine day. The ship's aircraft was being ranged on deck for its next launch. The director supervising the move was an experienced and careful man, so although conditions were perfect, he was alert and making sure that all the safety procedures were being followed. It was just as well that he was. Exercise, man overboard. Stop at 30. Starboard 30, sir. Quick reactions and an alert flight deck crew saved us from losing an expensive aircraft overboard. Still, all's well that ends well. What do you mean? Well, nobody got hurt, did they? The aircraft didn't go over the side, did it? <laughs> so what's all the fuss about? The fuss is about cooperation, stupid. The fuss is about avoiding near misses because near misses sometimes turn into the real thing. And anyway, who said nobody was hurt? And the aircraft don't always get away unscathed. During a repair session on the ship's mortars, the flight deck officer was asked to move the mortar switch from stow to restrict it. A simple enough request, and one that you might readily comply with. Sure, anything for a friend. Well, what happened? When the switch was thrown, the mortars moved into auto training <coughs> and hit the aircraft. Twice. And that sort of accident is happening far too often for comfort. Here's another. Taking off from a small ship can be tricky. It's a time when everybody on the flight deck has his full attention on the aircraft. Up into the hover. Everything looks good. Just waiting for the signal to depart when... Caught unawares, the pilot thought that the bang had come from his aircraft. He got down safely, but only just. And remember, these aren't fairy stories. They actually happened. Well, that's terrible. You'd think people would be more careful. You sure would. What are you doing now? Uh, just stowing some equipment. <laughs> that illustrates another problem area. Aircraft are made of very thin material. So any equipment stowed nearby has to be very carefully lashed. Because otherwise, this sort of expensive accident will surely happen. So you see, Lionel, Making sure that the ship and aircraft are working together has to be one of our first considerations. Oh, sure, I get the drift now. I'm a completely reformed character. Right, now for my second attempt to land. There she blows! Permission to blow suit, sir. Permission granted. <laughs> that was another true story, Lionel. It might well have caused an accident. So you see, either the ship and aircraft learn to work together, or the aircraft may never work again.